everyone's checking out your new whip. Good. I don't wait this long for my parents to get me this car for people not to notice. You, know, you are so lucky. I wish my parents would give me a car like this. At least Beth takes us to school in it. <laughs> True. Guys, check out that piece of junk. Is that Allison's car? Does that thing even run? Oh, I don't even know. Let's go and find out. Follow me. There you go. You got all your books and your homework in there? Okay, good. Come on. Nice rust bucket, Allie. Did you pick that up straight from the junkyard? <laughs> good morning to you too, Bethany. Seriously though, your family can't even get you a decent car. Have you seen Beth's new ride? Yeah, it's worth over a hundred grand. Well, that's great for Bethany. We don't have that kind of money. Wow. This really suck. Being poor. <laughs> See you around. Brokey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. What's wrong with their car? Nothing. They're just being mean. Don't worry about them, okay? Nat, where's your jacket? It's cold. I forgot it at home. That's okay. Here. You can take mine. There you go. Now let's get you to homeroom before you're late, okay? Come. Hey, do you need the mall later today? Ugh, I can't. My mom's making me volunteer at the hospital. Seriously, why? Trust me, the last thing I want to be doing is delivering food to sick people. But my college counselor told my mom that I need to do these kinds of things if I want to get into a good school. That sucks. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay, everyone, let's go. It's cold, so let's get started. Allison, where's your coat? Uh, I gave it to my little sister. There's a student store. Why don't you see if you can grab yourself a hoodie? Uh, that's all right. I'll be okay. Are you sure? It's because she can't afford it. Everyone knows how broke she is. <laughs> okay, really, Bethany, that kind of talk is unnecessary unless you would like to run laps all period. I didn't think so. Why don't you go see if there's a lost and found? You can find something from there, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay, hurry back. Mm -hmm. what do you think? Thanks. Okay. Everybody else? Up, 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 up. Stretch it up. Arms up. Smile. You're all happy to be here. Why are they all dresses? In here. You look like a raccoon rummaging through that trash. Do you need something? Otherwise, I don't understand why you're following me. No one's following you, relax. I just came in here to use the bathroom. I can't believe you're wearing other people's rejects. You know, Bev, you should really be kind to people because you never know what they could be going through. <laughs> you're such a loser. Not. What's going on? Shouldn't you be at lunch? Yeah, but I don't have any credits left. That's okay. Uh, here you go. Take this. Wait, how are you gonna eat? Don't worry about me. Now you better get going before lunch ends, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Go. You're the best ever. <laughs> You good. Allison Cook? Um, it looks like there isn't any money in your account. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, can you put it on my credit? Sorry, you're out of credit too. Oh, we do have a free lunch option if you want. Okay. Thanks. Hey.
You guys have to come over. My mom got this new private chef and his food is to die for. Just let us know when. Check out Allison's food. Looks like she's eating one of the free meals. You're kidding. What is this? Oatmeal? What does it look like? Um, Ew, is that even edible? No, my plan is just to stare at it until I'm no longer hungry. I can't even look at it. I just lost my appetite. Well, not everyone has mommy and daddy's money to afford fancy lunches. Oh, poor you. Literally. <laughs> I'm a loser. Oh. Okay. Just a second, Nat. We're gonna be late. I know. I'll just figure something out, okay? Why don't you just wait in the car? Is there something I can do to help? Please, just wait in the car. Having some car troubles, Allie? Not at all. I just enjoy popping my hood and getting some fresh air before I drive home. You know, I'd give you a ride, but this car is new and I don't want you in here with that smelly lost and found hoodie. <laughs> Catch you later, Brokey. <laughs> Walking. It's gonna be so cold. It's gonna take so long. Better late than never, right? Sorry. It'll just be a little adventure. Me and you. Does that sound fun? <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey, sweet. hey, sweetie. How was school? Good. Today we learned about sharks. That sounds like a lot of fun. <coughs> hey, Mom. I'm so sorry we're late. The car broke down, so we had to walk. Honey, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad that you have to take care of everything. You should only have to focus on school and not on everything else. No, it's okay. Just focus on getting better, please. We're pulling through. I just wish your dad would have Stop. been Okay? We don't need to talk about that anymore. Okay. So how's work going? Work is fine. I picked up a late shift today. I'm gonna go after I put Nat to bed. You work so hard. At school? School is okay. There's just some girls who have been, let's just say, less than nice. What are you doing here? Um, uh, I'm volunteering. Here's your mom's food. I'll take that. Sorry for the intrusion. Hey, Nat. Um, why don't you hang out with Mom, Amanda? Get started on your homework? Um, I'll be right back, okay? Hey! Hi. Were you eavesdropping on us? That was a private conversation. No, I, I didn't mean to. I, I didn't even know your mom was in the hospital. Look, if you have any more snide remarks, just save that for school. I'm here to be with my mom. Um, I, I got it. Wait. 
I'm sorry. From what I heard, it sounds like you've been through a lot. You have no idea. Do you mind me asking what happened? Why? So you can use that against me to try and humiliate me at school? No. I promise. If I get it, if you don't want to say, I'm probably the last person you want to talk to right now, so. Look, it all started going downhill about a year ago. You see, my mom was having some health issues and a bunch of tests were done. Eventually, we got the results back and found out. She had cancer. When she started treatment, she would be sick all the time. Nat and I did our best to support her. But my dad, on the other hand, couldn't handle the pressure. So he walked out on us. With my mom in the hospital and my dad out of the picture, we had to downsize everything. Even though it's really hard sometimes, I have to be strong for my sister. So you see, that's what's been going on in my life for the past year. That's why I can't afford nice things. Oh my gosh. I had no idea. If I had known, I would have never- What? Been so mean? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I appreciate you saying that. Allie, sweetheart, are you okay out there? I'll be right in, Mom. I gotta go. I'll see you in school. Bye. I think we're gonna have to walk to school today. But that's so far. I know, and I'm sorry, but there's honestly nothing I can do. The car is just doing its own thing. Hi. Hey, what are you doing here? Sorry to show up unannounced. Um, someone told me that you live over here. I wanted to catch you before school. Okay. What's up? Listen, I feel really bad about everything, so I brought you guys some stuff. You got us clothes and groceries? No, that's okay. We don't need to accept your sympathy. We'll be fine. No, uh, that, that's not what this is about. I did this because I realized you were right. You should always be kind, because you never know what someone's going through. I'm really sorry. Thanks. I appreciate it. Are you still having trouble with your car? Can I give you a ride? No, we're just gonna walk. Come on. I have plenty of room. It's cold out. What if she got sick? Please. Do you think Bethany should give us a ride? Yes, please. I guess we'll take it. Okay, Thanks. great. I'll just put this inside real quick and then I'll be right back out. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go. What's everyone looking at? Um, Madison, I don't think you want to see this. Or are you, Shelby? Shelby's boyfriend tried to flirt with Madison? It says he tried to slide in her DMs. I knew there was something off about the relationship. If I was Shelby, I'd be devastated. Shh. She's right there. I'm so sorry. I, I should have told you sooner. 
My best friend? Are you serious? No, no, no. Shelby, so this, this never happened, I swear. I always had the feeling you were into her. We're so done. Come on, babe, babe! Tell her, you know I would never do something like that. It, babe! <sighs> this is insane. I can't believe someone would do all of this to Madison. I mean, she's literally the worst, but even she doesn't deserve all this. Whoever did it is gonna get in huge trouble. Olivia? What? Do you know who did it? Emma, why do you have Madison's diary? I can explain. You see? Oh my god, I love that bag! So cute. <laughs> Thanks. My aunt got it for me. Um, she loves spoiling me and my sister because she doesn't have kids of her own. Lucky, only aunt of like four kids. <laughs> this is officially the coolest thing I own. I'm gonna wear it every day, and I'm definitely gonna bring it to our murder mystery club this week. Yes! <laughs> Ooh, this is so freaking gorgeous. Thanks. It's the same one Rihanna has. I'm like dying. It'd go perfect with what I'm wearing tomorrow night with Jason. Uh, it's still so weird that you're dating my brother. I can't get used to it. You know, if you like weren't one of my closest friends, I'd break the two of you up. Please don't ever do that. You know how much I like him. <gasps> oh no, she didn't. <laughs> um, there's no way you're wearing the same bag as me. You better have a different one in your locker. Uh, no, this is my only bag. Then go find an old one from the lost and found and use that or something. Madison, what's the big deal? Do you have any idea how embarrassing this is? I can't be seen wearing the same bag as Emma. Everyone's gonna think I got it at like TJ Maxx or something. <laughs> Sorry, but I love this bag and I'm using it every day. Hey, babe. <laughs> Sad, <Hey>. sad, ah. <laughs> oh, hey, nice bag, Em. Thanks. Oh. Oh, cool. Madison has the same bag. I guess Emma's a trendsetter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Can I say something? Just when I thought she couldn't get more annoying, she comes to school with the same bag as me. Well, it's not like you can do anything about it. You just gotta accept it. Trust me, we all have to accept things that annoy us. Uh, 917? 46? Sorry, sweetie. Doesn't look like you have enough credits. Shoot, my mom didn't give me any cash. She lost her wallet. Just use my ID. I have a ton of credits. Four, eight, two. Nine, two. Six. All right, ladies, you're all set. <laughs> Thanks, boo. Thanks, boo. Why is she talking like that? Ugh, everything about her annoys me. I want to ruin her bag. I wish there was a way that I could just, like, crush it or something. Oh, shoot, we forgot now, Kins. I'll grab some. Before. Where are you going? Shh. What are you doing over there? No! Oh my gosh, Olivia. Are you okay? Yeah, I barf, but I'm fine. Watch where you're going. What are you talking about? You did this on purpose. No, what? she bumped into me. You guys saw that, right? She totally knocked the grease into me and then it fell on her. What on earth happened in here? I think it was an accident. Uh, the girls bumped into each other and uh, they knocked over the grease. That's not true. Madison did this on purpose. On purpose? Why would she? Did anyone see Madison do this? No. Madison's right. I tripped over the cart and the grease fell on me. Oh boy, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need us to call your parents? No, I'm fine. 
Can I just change into my PE clothes for the rest of the day? Of course. I'll go see if I can find you a new pair of gym sweats. Whose bag is that? It's mine. Why? I, I like it. Madison, you have the same one. You two are like twins. I'll see about those sweats. Why didn't he tell you the truth? Madison did this to you. Just let it go. I'll come back to her. It's not fair. We need to get her back. We can't let her get away with this. No. Please don't. You know the saying. Don't waste your time on revenge. Those who deserve it will always get it in the end. Uh, but she... Just leave it, okay? Karma will come around. Weird. Hey, Jason. What you got there? I think it's Madison's journal or a diary or something. I don't know. Oh, she, she must have dropped it. Um, I can give it to her. She lives on my block. Oh, you sure? Yeah, I got it. All right, then. So you see, that's how I found this. Trust me, I wanted to ruin Madison's life with this. Make her regret for messing with us. I was so torn, but then I realized I'm not that person. I'm not as mean as Madison. So I kept it in my backpack this whole time. So you didn't do it? No, I didn't even read it. Because I remembered what you said. It's not worth getting her back. I should just let Karma take care of it. Well, um, so if you didn't do it, then who did? I have no idea. Listen, Emma, no one can see you with this diary. It makes you look guilty. I know. So when was looking, I'm gonna come back. Emma Robinson! Uh, hi, Principal Jackson. This note was left in my office by an anonymous student. I didn't know what it meant until now. I don't know what... That's wrong, I... I don't have it. Well, someone must think that you do. I'm gonna need to check your locker. No, you can't do that. Yes, Emma, it's school policy. Someone used the copiers to harass Madison and I need to find out who did it. I will not tolerate bullying in my school. Wait, Principal Jackson. I swear, I didn't do this. My office, right now. Hey, she didn't do it. Well, the proof says otherwise. To my office, go, and you too. I'm waiting for your mom to answer so she can come pick you up. You stay put. You got the wrong person. I really didn't do it. Hello? Yes, this is she. Well, she still thinks this Mises the diary was in my locker. She's gonna suspend me for the rest of the week. What? That's not fair. You didn't even do it. She doesn't believe me. And once my mom finds out, I'm gonna be grounded for the rest of my life. She's totally gonna take the principal side. We can kiss our murder mystery and we can say goodbye. No, that looks so bad. That's like the only thing I look forward to every week. I don't know. But someone's clearly trying to pin this on me. Wait, who was the only person who saw you with the diary? Jason! We gotta confront him, and quick. Uh, wait, the principal says I have to stay put. What's worse could happen? You're already suspended, we gotta go. Why are you taking that? You know how mysteries work. You never know what you're gonna need. Some stuff can turn out to be important.
Can anyone tell me where the Declaration of Independence was signed? Yes. At the bottom by the X. Can I help you, Olivia? Uh, yeah, I need to talk to Jason for a second. It's about a school project. It'll be quick. Okay. Philadelphia. What's up? Are you trying to frame me? What? What are you talking about? Madison's diary. You're technically the one who gave it to me. Yeah, because I thought you were going to give it to her. If I knew you were going to make photocopies, I never would have given it to you. I didn't make the copies. Maybe it was you who made the copies. Then you passed the evidence on to Emma so she could take the fall. Relax, Detective Olivia. For your information, Shelby just broke up with me over at Madison's Diaries. Look, I love Shelby. I mean, why would I do that to myself? Shelby's right. He really doesn't have a motive. All I know is that someone ruined my relationship. Okay, Madison is not the only victim here. Don't act so innocent. You were still messaging your girlfriend's best friend behind her back. What? No, I wasn't, okay? She was messaging me, and that's the truth, not the other way around. Hmm. Sure. Is there anyone who didn't want you and Shelby together? Not that I can think of. I mean, maybe my sister. You know, Kate never liked the idea of me and her best friend. But other than that, I don't know. Jason, we're going over the Constitutional Convention. You don't want to miss this. Right, right, of course. Come on. Okay. We'll talk. Kate would have had easy access to Madison's diary. It was totally her. Oh my gosh, this is like more fun than our murder mystery games. <laughs> Maybe for you. Since your future's all on the line here. I still can't believe all this is happening. Ah, uh, I know. I'm so sorry. Well, at least you don't have to worry about me dating your brother anymore. Shelby. I mean, it bothered me and, yeah, like, grossed me out when the two of you were together, but... Uh -huh. together, but... So it was you, Kate. What are you talking about? It was you who made the copies. You wanted to break up Shelby and Jason. Admit it, you knew if Madison's diary got leaked, Shelby would find out the truth and it would cause their breakup. Is that tricky? No, I would never do such a thing. I was gonna say, yeah, it bothered me, but you made my brother so happy. I would never break the two of you up. I mean, I thought you were good for each other. As for you two, how dare you accuse me of something like this? You two have more motive. Madison threw grease on you in front of the whole school yesterday. <laughs> yeah, and Principal Jackson found Madison's diary in your locker. So we all know who did it. For your information, I was framed. I didn't make the copies. Well, neither did I. Plus, I don't even have credit on my ID. I use cash for everything. What does that have to do with anything? Everybody's talking about how the diary pages were made at the school copy machine. The one in the library? You need to use credit from your school ID to make copies. I know how we can find out who did this. We just got our lead. Let's go. Hi, ladies. How can I help you? Oh, there's that cute bag again. I love it. It's very pretty. <laughs> what do you mean again? I recognize your bag. Weren't you in here yesterday? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I really wasn't. We wanted to see if there's any way to see who used the photocopying machine. If this is about the diary incident from this morning, I already told Principal Jackson that the photocopy machine, it's been completely reset. There's no way to view any history. There has to be another way. We're trying to solve this mystery. Is there no backup anyway? Uh, oh, the computer backs up the copier log. We can check there. Yeah, all right, right up. So, yeah, it looks like all the student IDs that were last entered are right here. Oh, I have another student to assist. I hope you ladies find what you need. 
100 copies? This has to be it. Student ideas, 482-926. Isn't that your ID? Uh, I don't know how that got there. If it is, you can tell me. I totally understand. I, I just don't know why you'd put the blame on me. Um, it wasn't me. Okay, I would never frame you. Okay, I'm sorry. But what about you? The librarian said she saw your back yesterday. Your back thinking it's me? I don't know, okay? Maybe we'll never solve this mystery. Will Emma Robertson please return to the principal's office? Your mother is here to pick you up. Why do they have to say my mom is here? Well, I'm sure you'll have a lot of time to think about it at home. Here, take the clue. Oh my gosh. I know who did it. Wait! Madison! What are you still doing here? Aren't you supposed to be suspended? You would like that, wouldn't you? That when no one finds out the truth. What are you getting at? There you are, young lady. I've been looking everywhere for you. You are in big trouble, Emma. I can't believe you did this. It's like I don't even know <laughs> who you are. I didn't do it. But I know who did. It was Madison. What? Why would Madison do this to herself? Exactly. Besides the fact that she'll love to get me back for her in the same bag as her? Madison has a crush. On her best friend's boyfriend. That's ridiculous. He's the one who has a crush on me. No, I told you I don't like you, okay? Oh, Shelby. Okay, that's why I didn't respond to any of your DMs. You've been DMing Jason? No, no, I... Okay, even if I have, that doesn't mean I'd leak my own diary. Unless you have some other proof, Emma. I do. The librarian told me something that helped me figure this out. She said she saw my bag yesterday. But I didn't step foot in the library yesterday. And only one other person has my bag. <laughs> After it hit me, I compared the note that was left for Principal Jackson to one of the diary pages. Both eyes are exactly the same. Madison dots her eyes just like that. You can check every diary page to confirm. She's right. Madison does dot her eyes like that. Shelby! Madison? I is this all true? Tell us the truth. <laughs> Why would you use my student ID on the copy machine? Fine. I did it. It was me. I've had a crush on Jason ever since elementary school. And you knew about it, and you still decided to date him. That was a long time ago. I didn't realize you liked him. Well, yes, I did. And I've been waiting for you guys to break up for months. When I realized it wasn't going to happen, I wanted to ruin your guys' relationship, but I didn't want to look like a bad friend. So, I had to get creative. You see, at lunch yesterday, I heard Olivia shout out her ID number. 482 92 Six. Originally, I was gonna use it all on lunch just to drain her account, but then I started thinking of a better idea. I decided to make a fake diary and act like Jason had secretly been in love with me. Then I made copies of it using Olivia's ID to make it seem like it was her. Thankfully, Miss Bradshaw never noticed. To make things even more confusing, I saw Emma walk into the hallway, so I decided to leave the diary for her. I figured between Emma and Olivia, one of them would get blamed instead of me. So you see, that's what happened. If Shelby didn't steal Jason from me, then I wouldn't have had to stoop so low. Well, looks like I almost suspended the wrong girl. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Robinson. I did not mean to waste your time. No problem. I am just glad that my girl didn't do this. Deep down, I know she has a good heart. She could never. Does this mean I'm not gonna be grounded? Of course not. 
Wait, does this mean we can still do our murder mystery club this weekend? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> See? Look, I would never do anything to hurt you. And I, I know I probably should have told you that Madison was DMing me, but I didn't want to ruin your guys' friendship. Look, I'm sorry. Can you, can you forgive me, please? Of course. Okay. I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. I get it. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are back together. <laughs> it's so much better to have my brother date you instead of somebody else. <laughs> Awkward. No, guys, please. Come with me, young lady. We're gonna go call your mom, and after all this, you're probably gonna be transferring schools. Follow me. This way. I'm glad you didn't plan a revenge scheme after all. I just did what you said. Don't waste your time on revenge. Those who deserve it always get theirs at the end. Oh, well, you two detectives are pretty impressive. Now, do you think you can use those skills to help me find my wallet? <laughs> no, I'm serious. What'd you get for number 23? I'm not there yet. Heather, Raina, can you stop talking until everyone's finished? I need to step out for a minute. Finish your worksheets and I'll be right back. What'd you get for number 23? Heather. What the? What is this? Wait a second. Is this Chase? That's private. Let me see. Oh my gosh. It's totally him. He even has the same jacket. Give it back. Oh hey, Chase. Looks like you've got yourself a little sucker. Wait. Is this me as an anime character? Yeah, Mia's totally in love with you. No, I'm not. I, I was just practicing drawing characters for my series. You're what now? It's for an anime contest. First place gets a thousand dollar prize. Are you serious? Ugh, just when I thought you couldn't get any weirder. Anime isn't weird. Even a bunch of celebs are into it. Ariana Grande, Kanye West, Sniper Wolf. And what? You think they're ever gonna care about your dumb little drawings? Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully everyone had a chance to finish. Pass them up to the front, please. Oh, and a quick reminder that Friday is career day, so you will want to dress up as whatever you want to be. Lawyers, doctors, astronauts, whatever your dream job is, and then you'll give a brief presentation to the rest of the class. I bet Mia's dressing up as Pikachu. <laughs> I'm sorry, is something funny back there? Yeah, excuse me, Miss Cran. What if you don't plan on working? Well, you have to choose something. Anything. You could be a philanthropist or a stay-at-home mom. Like I would ever do that to myself. Never mind. Figure something out. <sighs> Ugh, is Mia legit still drawing her anime? I've got an idea. Get your phone out. Why? What are you gonna do? I'm stopping the freak from drawing her anime for good. <laughs> Record me, but start it in like one minute. Hey, loser. Thanks for the sandwich. Hey, that's my lunch. Ugh, you can keep it. How old does that mean? I don't know. My mom got it from Walmart. Ugh. Ew, you get your groceries at Walmart? Gross. What are you wasting your time on now? If you don't have anything nice to say, can you please leave me alone? I need to finish this for the contest. <laughs> you really don't think this is going to make you any money, do you? I mean, it might someday. <laughs> you really do live in your fantasy world. You know, if I were you, I'd start practicing taking coffee orders now, since that's all you're gonna end up doing if you stay on this track. Missina. Stop taking my stuff. Dumb. Dumb. Even dumber. Give it to me. Why do you keep picking on her? Yeah, just give her her book back, Heather. Stay out of this. Hold up. Is this me? My series needed a villain. If that's how it's gonna be, then I might as well embrace the part. 
I needed these for the contest. It serves you right for drawing people without their permission. And besides, anime is a total waste of time. You know, one day, you'll be thanking me for this. <laughs> so good. Let me see that. I'm so sorry, Mia. You didn't deserve that. Yeah, don't, don't let her get to you. <laughs> I needed these for the contest. What is that? <laughs> hey, Mia. Thanks for the views. What are you talking about? Guessing you haven't seen my TikTok. <laughs> no! Sweetheart. How was... Hey, what's going on? Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Nothing, can we just drive? Not until you tell me what's wrong. Something happened at school? It's not that big of a deal. Is someone picking on you? Is it the Heather girl? I swear. I don't wanna talk about it, can we just go home? We're supposed to go to the thrift shop, get your career day outfit, remember? Yeah, well, I don't even know if I want to go to school that day anymore. What do you mean? You've been so excited. You're going to dress up as Tanjiro, uh, Tanjiro, Tanjiro, Demon Slayer, all month. I've got you this, huh, makeup palette you wanted. You can match it with the wig. Mommy, you don't need to be wasting your money on me like that. It's not a waste. You're so talented. What kind of mom would I be? If I didn't support you. Thanks, but if I go, then I'm not gonna wear an anime costume. Okay, so what do you wanna go as? I don't know, something normal so no one makes fun of me? Sweetheart, being different is what makes you special. You can try to fit in with everyone else. Yeah, well that hasn't worked out so well. Can't let people that don't understand you keep you from following your dreams. Well, that's easy to say when your dreams aren't sitting at the bottom of a garbage can. What does that even mean? Do you remember the sketches that I was doing for the contest? Heather destroyed them at lunch. I knew it was that Heather girl. You know, I'm gonna go talk to the school principal right now. No, that'll just make things worse. Fine. I won't say anything as long as you promise to go to career day and you dress as whatever you like. You can't let a mean girl tell you what you can and cannot do. All right, fine. Can we just drop it and drive? Oh yeah, you got some really cute things. Are you going for more of like a Kyle Richards vibe? You know, I was actually leaning more like Kardashian. Oh. Look what the cat dragged in. What do you want, Heather? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to thank you. My TikTok's at over one million views. Guess I can add influencer to the list of things I can become. I've looked at the comments and people are on my side. If I were you, I'd delete that. I gained 30,000 followers in a day. I think I'll be okay with a little bit of hate. Were you just shopping at the thrift store? And what is this? It's part of my outfit for Friday. What are you going as, a witch? <laughs> no, I'm going as a character for my favorite anime, Demon Slayer. Even worse. Still stuck in your fantasy world, I see. You know, maybe your life wouldn't suck so much if you weren't so weirdly obsessed with anime. My life is just fine. You have no friends, no boyfriend, and you're poor. What's so great about that? Not for long. When my series takes off and I become famous... Aren't you famous? Oh, as <laughs> if. The only five seconds of fame you're ever gonna get is from my TikTok. Oh, and you know what? Tomorrow, maybe I'll give you 10 more seconds by throwing you in the trash with the rest of your drawings. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye, loser. Buddy. What are you doing? Ow. We leave for school in 10 minutes. So David. I'm not going, I, I don't not feel well. Crushing it on court, but off court too. How did you go from being on academic probation
addition to getting a 4.0 GP. Wow. Mia, please don't let those girls get to you. But what if they're right? I eat lunch alone every day. We live in a tiny studio apartment we can barely afford, and I think that just drawing some fictional characters is gonna magically change everything. Heather's mean, but she's not crazy. Mia, I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but I promise you, things are gonna work out. I don't know anymore. This is your favorite series, right? Does the hero in the story just get what they want right away? No. Tanjiro has to fight demons to avenge his family's death and to turn his sister Nezuko back to human. Exactly. Think of Heather as a demon. Not literally, but you know. My point is, every person that's trying to make something great of their lives has to overcome some kind of obstacle, and the obstacles are what make for a great story. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm ready to do it. Why don't you go get that? Okay. Oh my god! You're... You're Sniper Wolf! Well, technically, I'm Nezuko, but yeah. You must be Mia. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, how do you know my name? Oh my god, I wish I didn't look like this right now. <laughs> You're totally fine. I saw a TikTok video about you, and I felt super bad. So I reached out to your mom. You knew about this? That's why I was trying to get you to go get ready. <laughs> I'm sorry for what you're going through. That Heather girl sounds like some of the girls that I went to school with that made fun of me. You were made fun of. You've got like 30 million subscribers. Now, but I wasn't very popular in high school. I was into anime and the other girls were into boys or shopping. But now some of those same girls want to be my friends. It's funny how life works. So when people were mean to you, it didn't make you want to change? Not at all. Because one thing I know is being different is what makes you cool. You don't have to fit in with everybody else. That's what my mom tells me. We were talking about that before you came. Your mom sent me some of your drawings, and they're really good. Like getting published or produced one day sort of good. Wait, you mean it? You're not just saying that to make me feel better? Nope, it's so good that if you want, I could help get your series off the ground. I've got a few contacts. But for now, I think you better go change, or we're gonna be late. Wait, you're going to school with me? Yep, Tanjiro and Nezuko gotta stick together, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, in conclusion, I want to be a real housewife. Preferably the Beverly Hills cast, but I'm willing to accept New York or the OC, too. <laughs> Thank you. What an interesting goal, Heather. Well, we certainly have some colorful ideas between that and Derek's dream job of creating a pyramid scheme. Okay, who's next? Uh, Mia, you want to come up? This is gonna be gold. <laughs> so uh, I decided to dress up as my favorite anime character, Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, because I hope to create my own anime series. That's code for gonna be broke. <laughs> Heather. Uh, sorry, Mia, keep going. Uh, what steps can someone take to become an anime creator? So, actually first step, be born a total loser. <laughs> Okay, that is it. One more comment and you are getting sent to the principal's office. Sorry, go ahead. So, to become a creator, normally you need a foot in the door, but actually, Heather helped me with that. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. Because of your video, I was able to meet... Hello, friends. Hi. It's sniper. Oh my gosh. Uh, hello, but brings you here. I'm here as Mia's friend, but I'm also collabing with her on a special project. Special project? 
Yeah, I've been working on my own anime series, but I haven't found the right person to collab with until I found Mia. So we're gonna produce a show together and I'll promote it on my channel. Mia, you're making a show with Sniper? <laughs> That's so cool. You're gonna be famous. What are you guys talking about? Anime is for total losers. I think my subscribers would disagree. But thanks for making that TikTok, because that's how I found Mia. Principal Matthews, is everything okay? I need to speak with Heather. With me? Why? About a certain TikTok you made that came to my attention. Come with me. <laughs> Chase? Huh? Sorry, I missed the bus this morning, but is it true you brought Sniper Wolf to class today? Yeah, but wait, are you... Zenu Tomaru from Glee? You're into anime? Ever since middle school, but my friends gave me a hard time for it, so I ended up getting into sports. I never would have guessed. Well, when I saw that drawing you made of me... Oh, don't remind me, that was so embarrassing. No, not at all. Because of you, I've actually been binging Bleach all week. Really? Yeah, of course, and if you're down, maybe we can get together and watch it sometime, if that's something you're into. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so pronounced. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I have an 11 o'clock interview with Jack Feldstein. My name's Heather Langston. Follow me. Wait here. I'll go get him. It's coming together, guys. Yeah, yeah push there's one and two, yeah. but I still favor three. All right, we'll, we'll try to get back to you in like a bit. Be... Okay, see you then. Yeah. Mia? Mia Tanaka? Heather? What are you doing here? Uh, Low-key, I'm interviewing for an admin assistant role here. Super lame, I know. <laughs> Wait, you're interviewing? I thought you had a trust fund. Oh, I uh, sort of spent most of it, so my dad told me I have to go out and get a real job. But it looks like we both might be assistants here. So sorry, Jack got held up at a meeting. Oh, I see you met Mia. Oh, yeah, we go way back. I knew Mia when she was still scribbling those little anime characters in her notebook. I had no idea. I would have had me as assistant find a time for you two to meet directly had I known. Assistant? Of course. Well, technically, two assistants. <laughs> you know, she's the CEO. CEO? Wait, but this is your company? Just give us a minute. Yeah, I guess that little anime series worked out after all. <laughs> wow. I had no idea. But honestly, if anyone deserves success, it's you. You always worked really hard, and I never understood or appreciated any of that. Not until I lost all of my money. But um, anyways, congrats on everything. I'm guessing you wouldn't want to hire me. Well, we are scaling up. I could use an extra set of hands. Yeah, you're still interested, of course. Really? Yeah, you could start right now. Sorry to interrupt, but your mom called. She is loving the new house you got her and is hoping you'll be home for dinner. And then Sniper Wolf just got here for the meeting. Okay, great. Tell my mom we'll be there at seven and I'm coming right now for the meeting. And your first task can be making us some coffee. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I can do that. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you can help run our social media. I remember you're pretty good at that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, um, sorry about that, by the way. But that sounds good. Great. HR, we'll get you started. Oh, and Mia? Thank you again. Hey, hey, you. Just thought I'd bring you this. Oh, thanks, honey. Is that? Come say hi to Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf? OK. Hey. Do you girls mind if I sit with you? Uh, uh, with that outfit? Yeah, we mind. Heather, I am so, so sorry. There's no money on your account. Oh, I am 
to take this, but you can have this free lunch, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! How embarrassing. Your family's so poor, you have to eat that nasty free meal. I could never. How sad. Ugh. Well, um, it's not that bad. Well, we get our lunches made by our family's personal chefs. <laughs> Happy free meal, homeless Heather. <laughs> homeless Heather! <laughs> Aw, did you drop your nickel? Can you please get off of it? I need it for the bus. Ew, I can't believe you're so broke you have to take public transportation. <laughs> That's disgusting. So gross. See that car over there? That's my mom's brand new Tesla. And that's just one of our cars. That's good for you, Becky. I'd offer you a ride, but I wouldn't want to dirty up the car having you in it. <laughs> Becky, let's go, honey! Gotta go. My mom's taking me shopping at Gucci. Have fun riding the bus. First you eat the nasty school lunch, then you ride the bus, and now you buy other people's used clothes. Ugh, gosh, how poor are you? Becky, I can't believe you just said that to her. What? I'm just telling the truth, Mom. Young lady, you should never make fun of other people. Who cares? It's just homeless Heather. Everyone makes fun of her. How would you feel if someone made fun of you? You shouldn't judge people until you've walked in their shoes. Well, luckily, we're rich, and I won't ever have to worry about that. <laughs> See, that's where you're wrong. You may come from a family with money, but that is not how we treat other people. Starting tomorrow, no more catered lunches. You can have the school lunch. No more Tesla pickups. You can catch the bus. And no more designer shopping. You can shop at the thrift store. But, but Mom, no, you can't do that. You have no choice, young lady. Becky can't believe what just happened. The next day, Becky doesn't have the chef-made food she usually eats. When she tries to sit down at the table with her friends, they make fun of her and don't even let her sit with them. Becky is devastated. And after school, Becky's mom doesn't pick her up in the Tesla. Instead, she has to wait for the bus. Her friends happen to walk by and tease her. Becky is so humiliated. And finally, Becky isn't able to shop at the designer store. Now, she has to shop at the thrift store. Her friends see her as she walks out and laugh at her. She's so embarrassed and runs away in tears. After a while, Becky starts to understand what it feels like to get made fun of for not having much. <laughs> Enjoy your free lunch, broke Becky. Let's go. We wouldn't want anyone thinking we're friends with someone like her. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll sit with you. Heather? But why are you being nice to me? Because I know how it feels when people are mean to you. Look, I'm really sorry for making fun of you all those times. I was wrong. I guess you never really know what someone's going through unless you experience it yourself. Can you please forgive me? Of course. <laughs> hey, you 
think we could maybe catch the bus and go thrift shopping together later? Yeah, I like that. 